Welcome to another tech tip on Oracle Directory Services that includes Oracle Directory Service Enterprise Edition, Oracle Virtual Directory, Oracle Internet Directory, and Oracle Unified Directory. And in this video, we are going to look at difference between all these different directory service products from Oracle and why there are so many solutions from Oracle. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Atul Kumar. I'm an Oracle Ace and author of book on identity and access management. Now, the idea about this whole topic came from one of the questions that was raised during the launch of my training Oracle Unified Directory. We from K20 Academy do a lot of trainings and we were launching a training on Oracle Unified Directory. And the question came, should we learn Oracle Internet Directory or Oracle Unified Directory? So I thought of picking a topic from our training on Oracle Unified Directory and decided to explain here so you understand the difference between these various products from Oracle. But before that, let's go a level above. So Oracle has a rich set of products from Identity and Access Management Suite. And in that, they have three main categories. One is Identity Governance, second is Access Management, and third is Directory Services. So all those products that we saw, that is Oracle Internet Directory, Oracle Unified Directory, Oracle Virtual Directory, and Oracle Directory Service Enterprise Edition, all these are part of this third one with that is directory services. Let me quickly explain. Identity governance is mainly for identity management where you see joiner, mover, lever, you manage identity, including provisioning and governance. Whereas access management is to provide authentication and authorization and single sign on access. Whereas directory service mainly is storing these users, groups, enterprise assets into an LDAP server. So why does Oracle has these four products from the same directory services? Now this Oracle Directory Service Enterprise Edition, Oracle Internet Directory and Oracle Unified Directory. These are LDAP server where LDAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. Now, LDAP servers were primarily used for or are used for storing users and groups stored in hierarchical structure. And these are mainly read and very minor write at times. Now, since year 2003 or 4, Oracle acquired a lot of identity and access management products. And one of those companies that Oracle acquired was Sun, those who have Spark Solaris and Java as a language. So Sun had a product called Sun LDAP server or Sun directory server. And that was later rebranded as Oracle directory service enterprise edition. So what do you see first ODSEE that's part of Sun LDAP server or is a rebranding of Sun LDAP server. Then Oracle had their own directory server that is Oracle internet directory. And this Oracle Internet Directory, the data in Oracle Internet Directory is stored in an Oracle database. And then Oracle in recent years developed a brand new LDAP server completely rewritten in Java for a highly scalable and performant directory service that's Oracle Unified Directory. So Oracle Unified Directory is an LDAP server completely rewritten in Java for a very large deployment, scalable deployment and a very performant directory service implementation. So that brings us to the point, what is Oracle Virtual Directory or OVD? As a name suggests, Oracle Virtual Directory is a virtualization layer that sits in front of multiple LDAP server or the directory server or the store where users are stored. So let's assume you have user store like one directory service. You also have users stored in database and then you have users that are available or authentication service available as a part of web service. So you have multiple data source where users might be stored 
and you have clients that are coming that needs to leverage these directory service data or different directory service data. And in that scenario, Oracle Virtual Directory acts as a proxy layer where there are different adapters, one for each of these backend LDAP servers and Oracle Virtual Directory interact or interfaces with these and provides a single view for the clients. So from a client point of view, there is a single LDAP server, which is Oracle Virtual Directory that acts as a proxy to the multiple LDAP servers. And that's where the use of Oracle Virtual Directory. Now coming back to the main point, these three one that is Oracle Directory Service Enterprise Edition, Oracle Internet Directory and Oracle Unified Directory. All these three are LDAP servers and Oracle's recommendation for the implementation or any new implementation or any large or scalable implementation is Oracle Unified Directory. So if you have to implement a new LDAP server or directory service or identity and access management from Oracle, you will be or you should be deploying or implementing Oracle Unified Directory. This OVD complements Oracle Unified Directory. OUD, that's Oracle Unified Directory, also have replication and proxy configuration. So for any new implementation, you should be doing Oracle Unified Directory as an LDAP server implementation. So just to do a quick recap, Oracle Identity and Access Management consists of identity governance. That's where user management, provisioning, reconciliation, attestation and certification functionality are provided. Then you have Access Management. So products like Oracle Access Manager, Adaptive Access Manager, Federation, Authentication, Authorization and, and Single Sign-On are provided. Directory services are mainly for storing users and groups. From Oracle's point of view, you have LDAP implementation for Oracle Directory Service in Enterprise Edition, Oracle Internet Directory, Oracle Unified Directory. You should be, for any new implementation, you should be using Oracle Unified Directory. Oracle Virtual Directory provides a virtualization or a proxy layer for multiple LDAP servers for the client who needs to access these multiple LDAP servers. Well, that's it from me, Atul Kumar, in this tech tip. If you would like to know more about or have any further question related to identity and access management, join our private Facebook group related to Oracle Access Manager, Identity Manager, Oracle Unified Directory, Internet Directory, or any other Oracle Identity and Access Management using URL k21academy.com forward slash join IDM. It's one word, join IDM. And then if you'd like to know more about Oracle Unified Directory, I invite you to join my free one hour session on Oracle Unified Directory. That's what, why, and how to learn Oracle Unified Directory. So visit http k2nacademy.com forward slash OUD02 to register for this free one hour session on Oracle Unified Directory and Identity and Access Management. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, and you would like us to cover more five minutes tech tip like these, then leave a comment below in this video wherever you're watching this video and we'll keep adding more and more videos like these. That's it from me for now.